And you mentioned like we're actually crew members on our own spaceship. Right. right. And so besides the news being yeah quite meaningless sometimes, also <laughs> do you see like sometimes conflict? You come back and like here we are all on this beautiful spaceship, right. and yet we all seem to want to pick all these fights with each other and put each other in these different teams. Does that also become something irritating when you get back? So um, it's the International Space Station, and the, right. the main partners are Russia and the U.S. There's also Europe and Japan and Canada. Um, and so half of my training was in Russia. Half of my crew were Russian cosmonauts, and I just got to be great friends with them. I love being there with the Russian people. Uh, the night before launch, I was with Samantha and Anton, and I said, I'm an only child. And we did our, our toast, and I said, you guys are like my brother and sister, even though I'm an only child. So while I was training, uh, the Ukraine Civil War happened, and Russia annexed Crimea, and we, the West, and Europe and America imposed sanctions on Russia. So I'm in space with all this stuff going on. In space while that's happening, okay. It, in training and in, in training. space. So it, in training. It, it was that time, it was thir okay. 2013, 2014, 2015. Right. That's when all that stuff happened. So you're in Star City while it's happening on the yep. ground, yep. training, and then up there, okay. And in space we watched little red flashes and with my cosmonauts we could see bombs going off in Ukraine. Seriously. And if you're Russian, you have a cousin or a mother or yourself or somebody's from Ukraine. It's just, it's like England and Wales or something. Yeah, it's a huge I, I, population it, center. Yeah. They're, they're cousins, you know, or closer. So we were watching the war happen there. And my Anton is from Sevastopol, which is, became Russia. Uh, so, um, and they were on the phone calling home. Hey, how's our apartment doing? Or Because their currency got cut in half because of the sanctions. So anyway, I was right in the middle of this conflict and here we are getting along great and we're you know, friends and eating dinner together. We're like surviving space together, which is not an easy thing because you could die pretty quickly in outer space. So I've seen that dichotomy of, on the interpersonal level, people are people and you can get along very well. Whereas on the government to government level, that doesn't always happen. So I've seen this firsthand where, yeah, it is like, come on guys, we should be able to get along. Unfortunately, there's this thing called domestic politics and it's, very valuable for you know, Mr. Putin to stand up against the West, or it's very valuable for a Western politician in America or Europe to stand up against those Russians. And so right. it helps each other get elected. Um, but the reality is we're, we're great friends and can get along and do amazing things like fly in space together if we put our mind to it and, and kind of set aside those domestic politics. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below and I'll see you on the inside.